Oh, Scorpios. All right, so we're going to just jump into your read. This is going to be your love reading for today and see what we have for you. So if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big, big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, let's just get into it, Scorpio, and just like get into Tarot real quickly and just pick up the energy. And yeah, just keep in mind this is a general, not a personal read. So it's not going to resonate for every Scorpio. Wow, Six of Cups, Four of Cups. Clearly, this is a person that, you know, is very playful with you and bring out the good in you. But there is this, like, this, 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 like, this attachment to how long you guys have been in each other's lives. And this person is, like, taking advantage of this situation now. Um, but there is this love, this love, this rainbow on the back. Look at all those colors. And you just feel like there is, like this understanding between you and this person no matter what you guys are going through with this huge form of change this um this growth it's like you're growing and you're growing in separate directions here all right well i don't know i just got into that energy really quickly when it comes to your love read <laughs> all right so let's see what we have let's see what we have while wow, the tower in reverse wants to show itself so obviously there's a slowdown here when it comes to this relationship. I feel like there's like maybe you guys were just distant yourself from each other or the calls became less. The connection became less. Something happened where, you know, I feel like you both are very passionate towards each other. This is the vibe that I'm getting, but it's also like when it's not... When you're not in a, a, a vibration with each other, thinking or being on the same page with each other, you don't know how to communicate, you know? You don't know how to communicate that. And it's like, why am I hearing the, it's best to not communicate because you don't want to hurt each other. You don't want to throw words out to hurt each other. That's not what you want to do. But this person is coming towards you. Okay, tell me more. Scorpio, Scorpio. Divine, tell me more. All right. Oh, these cards want to show itself here. So we have the chariot, the six of swords, the queen of swords. We have the queen of pentacles in reverse. So definitely this is a little bit too much for you. This is what I'm hearing. And you're trying to protect your energy. But there is going to be conversation about what's happening. There's a distance between you and this person. I feel like this person is traveling. So you might have moved. You might have moved. All right. This is what I'm feeling. A lot of you might have moved to another state. There is some kind of distance here, but this person is on their way. They're moving very slowly towards you, um, but they're kind of like trying to figure things out on their end. Um, but they're coming towards you, and I'm seeing you guys communicate, but at the same time, you're trying to protect your yourself um, mentally because you did a lot for this person. But I feel like there is the universe taken some kind of role into this as well we have the high frontier so this could actually be developed into marriage or a lot of you are married to this person i'm seeing the justice here that this person is choosing you as well so um a lot of you if you guys are married i feel like it's being brought to that situation <sighs> like someone here was definitely distancing themselves mentally because they felt like they had to do this to actually move forward but then i feel like the universe is taking the like bringing some kind of like bringing back some kind of control balance you know into the situation um action as well everything is going to be balanced out when it comes to the swords the cup the the money you know the power this relation is coming together look at this it's coming together here everything yin yang you know, it's coming together for you and this person. I feel like it's guided this way spiritually, especially with the high front being here. It's like a huge spirituality and awakening within this person's energy. This is why they're moving towards you, giving you the justice, giving you the balance, giving you the choice. Like they want to be in this relationship with you. They want to move forward. 
I feel like if you guys are married, this person is coming to, you know, let you know that they don't want this to end up in divorce. You know, <laughs> they don't want a divorce. Um, they want to work things out. But if you guys are in a relationship, which I feel like most of you are, they're coming towards you to move forward. Because they felt like they were losing you. Like you, you stand firm with this person, what you truly wanted. Within the Queen of Swords, you are feeling like you were trapped or in restricted. And this is not your energy. So let's just move this because it's kind of like, this is in the middle. Let me work. The Four of Pentacles. There is clearly some selfishness here as well. Some money situation that's going on between you and this person. I'm seeing the lovers in reverse. Tell me more. The Two of Swords. The Three. Actually, the Two of Pentacles. The Two of um, Wands, excuse me. <laughs> the Ten of Swords. Wow, and the world. Not the world, oh my god. I feel like I'm seeing the world in the moon, but the Eight of Cups. So the moon is coming up for me twice over, and I feel like you're at a place of trust in your intuition. So that is good. I feel like whatever decisions you're making, you're making peace. You're not trying to, you know, be mad at this person or have these, you know, negative feelings. You want to move forward in the positivity um, whatever that might mean for you in this relationship, okay? And I feel like you don't know the answers. And this is why this person is coming towards you to give you the justice because you're in this process of letting things go, you know? And this is what this person feared because it's like something is changing between you and them and they kind of like feel this within their hearts. So there's restriction here, of course, and this is what's happening here. Like you just don't know. You're asking questions and this person is just being very, overprotective and lying to you telling you some kind of lie like you've been lied to but you don't have the facts you know you don't know why this is happening and I feel like it's a lot to do with this person's time where they've been this person's money how could you not do this and this person feeling like they can't do certain things now I feel like this person had a situation before you okay I feel like this person if you guys are married is in a situation with something that they need to talk to you about but this is straining your relationship okay because you're coming up as the devil not the devil oh my gosh the lovers in reverse you know it could be that Capricorn is coming into my head too because I'm getting messaged throughout this reading and I haven't even seen it yet so I don't know what the hell is going on but we're going to get through this um so if some of you just take that as it resonates you might have a Capricorn or someone with an ego issue here but I feel like there's a lot of stubbornness. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. Don't tell me what to do kind of vibe. I'll do this when I feel like it's right in the high Ferran Taurus energy. Okay. So you have cancer energy here. This person could highly be a manipulator or trying to manipulate you. But I feel like they're coming towards you because they love you, you know, in their own way. And they know what direction they want to take. At least you can be sure of that. That they know what direction they want to take. But you just don't feel that. Because your back is turned to this person in everything that you do. In anything that you do because you just don't have the faith within, not necessarily them, but everything that have occurred into your life. And you just like, you, you just feel like there's going to be like a disappointment here. Because this person, one, is moving very slowly within a chariot. Moving very slowly. Like they have a lot of time to come towards you. And you want things to happen now. I feel like you feel like um, you've been given this person a lot of time, you know, and you want to see action. You want to see things moving. You know, you want to see process, pro progress, I should say, because you've been in this energy for way too long. This is just not your vibe. But there's a separation here with us lovers. I feel like it's a very strong connection between you and this person. Remember, I, I saw the six of cups earlier. <laughs> And the Four of Cups, too. So, all right, we have, yeah, this person loves you a lot. They're moving towards you. If anybody's going to tell you the truth, it's going to be them. So your energy is really, yeah, you remember I said the intuition is good. 
So here comes your intuition within the High Priestess and it's very stable. And I feel like you already know what you're going to do, um, but you already told this person what it is, what it is, okay? What it is, what it's going to be. And you're just like, that's what it is. That's it, it is what it is. And you're just moving along with your life. And then here comes the the bow, you know, the arrow, this affection of love coming towards you very, very quickly in Saj energy. Every time I see this, I think about Saj, you know, because they have the bow and arrow as well. So this person is definitely looking towards you, you know, looking, their eyes are on you. And that's why they're coming towards you when it comes to love. And they are really thinking like nothing is going to happen. Another form of confirmation here when they look at you they just see that the 11 11 is on track they feel like this is right um and they want to be with you this energy wants to be with you but i just feel like there is something holding them back and of course it could be money it could be this person's pride that they don't want to to have you have control over their lives but i just feel like it's more than that in the four of pentacles like something is holding like they had to make a decision between two things and they because the chariot is like which way you're gonna go you know and they're going this way they're choosing you so they had to decide what they wanted to do look at conversation so i love this read even though you guys are going through a transition scorpio i feel like you are going through this with communication and this is the first of many of your readings that i'm seeing a lot of air a lot of air energy so a lot of you could be with a gemini aquarius or a libra energy i'm seeing libra here in the justice i'm seeing gemini in the magician okay you also have virgo sharing gemini's energy in the magician but I also see Gemini here again in the love. You know, you have Cancer coming out twice as well in the High Priestess and also in the Chariot. So there is a lot of emotions. There's a lot of air energy and there's a lot of stubbornness too um, in Virgo and Taurus energy. Okay. All right. So let's see. Didn't I say the devil? Hmm. I knew it was going to come out because I was feeling this energy. I picked it up before we even got here. So... We have the devil in Capricorn. That's another stubborn ass energy, right? The Arn, the, you know. <laughs> um, so you're dealing with someone that is definitely in this element of, you know, thinking that they're right. They're not going to change. I feel like this person is, is very hard to for them to see their wrongs and what they have done. I'm just sipping on my coffee, you guys. You know their wrongs and what they have done in this relationship um why may feel like this person is very hard it's very hard for them to see what they it's like they want to it's like it's, it's they're going through so much and they have never healed and i feel like this is something over time this person will share with you because there's a lot of emotions here when it comes to this person so they're going to share this with you. They want to have that companionship where they can share this with you. But this is a struggle. I feel like you're going to be helping this person to heal. Or to just let them know it's okay to heal. Kind of vibe. Okay. So the five of wands in reverse. This person and you argue a lot. And another thing that I'm picking up is just a lot of lies with the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. A lot of you try to distance yourself from this person by running away. And when you distance yourself from this person, you honestly thought that this was the right decision for you to make within the moons here and the High Priestess. You're not changing this, but I feel like this is going to be, there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of Oh my God, looking and pointing and, you know, especially when they see you because um, I feel like people know more than what they're saying or what they're sharing with you. And it's like I'm getting the vibe of they're talking about you behind your back, you know? Like they're talking about you behind your back. And it's like someone is telling you or giving you clues or giving you you know a heads up but they're not really showing you or telling you the facts about certain things 
and then I'm seeing the five of wands here where you're just like walking away because you feel like you've been fighting for this person's love and appreciation and letting this person know like you want to be with them this is where you want to be there's nothing that's going to you know have you move on to somewhere else or someone else vibe this is what I'm seeing here But it's like you're constantly fighting for this person's approval too, you know, this energy. So tell me what's going on for Scorpio. Wow, there's messages that I cannot even hold back. <laughs> All right, so thoughts create your reality. So make sure that your thoughts are very clear. And also I'm feeling like whatever you're going through, this person might just change up. But I'm not too worried about this because your energy and appearing in this reading, Scorpio, is very strong and to the point. It's like you're making healthy, healthy um, boundaries here with this person. Like, okay, you have lingered long enough. You had been patient with this person and let things slide long enough. And now it's kind of really just sharp and to the point. So follow the golden rule, okay? Do things the right way and don't try to cut corners. This is what I'm hearing. Be a good person. Be a decent person. And forgive yourself for every anything that you felt like, you know what, this could be your fault. Um, you have could have caused this, you know, forgive your first, your, yourself first, excuse me, and then forgive others around you. But you're ready to take this journey within yourself, whatever this may mean for you. But I'm seeing a journey that you might be going somewhere on your own. I feel like this is something that you felt like you missed. Because this person is bringing up the two of wands. Also, I'm seeing like a lot of release here within this energy. Like you're moving forward. Like you're moving forward, you're forgiven, and you're like, if you have to leave this person behind, this is something that you're going to do, you know? Regardless, you're coming off very, very strong with this person knows this. Like they have to get themselves together if they want to be with someone like you. Appreciate your talent and know that, you know, you have a talent within yourself. You have so much that you need to conquer in this life. Take responsibilities of your action. Know that when you're wrong, you know, don't be prideful because I'm seeing a lot of ego in this in this reading, not just for your person, but for you too. Um, but I feel like with the swords here, the communication, it's going to be good because you're, it's like you both have this huge form of communication here, if anything, you know? I feel like it's like you're trying to understand each other where you're coming from. And this is, could be a twin flame connection as well. But I also saw the Six of Cups. So this, look at that. Let go of the ego. Yeah. Thank you, angels, for confirming what I felt. I feel like you both have ego issues. So it's, it's a, a huge form of I want to make the decisions. I want to make this happen now. And it's like giving them ultimatum and they're moving when they want to move they're coming towards you regardless but it's like this form of energy like i am going to move when i want to move you're not going to force me to do anything so you're going to wait this is what i'm hearing like you're saying like you need to move now or else i'm, I'm leaving you behind and this person's like oh yeah well i'm coming when i want to come that's what i'm feeling here <laughs> I'm coming when I want to come. Let me just see the energy of this person or who you could be with. Because I'm seeing Cancer, like I said. Cancer is coming up twice. We also have the Gemini energy. We have Gemini again. Virgo here. Taurus. We have um, the Justice in Libra. Just want to make sure that I don't miss anything right here. And then we have um, Capricorn energy right here. So tell me more about this for Scorpio. What's the energy that Scorpio or <laughs> So Cancer is coming out strong, you guys. Cancer, okay, is coming out strong here. Okay. I feel like I'm hearing don't live in fear within Cancer, within your emotions. Don't live in fear, you guys. Live in love, choose love, find a balance within Libra. Also coming out here, we have Libra here come being confirmed as well. Libra energy, there is going to be a balance. There is need to be a balance within this justice. This person will be coming to you. All right, tell me more. Can I have two more? 
basket. Hey, thank you. All right, you have Aquarius coming out here, and you also have Taurus. Taurus being, being confirmed here, but we also are showing Aquarius energy, okay? So I'm here and open up to change within Aquarius. I'm also feeling like there's a lot of stubbornness in, in Taurus energy. It's like you need to reevaluate your situation. Detoxify. <laughs> oh my goodness. Especially when it comes to what is abundance to you. What is happiness? What is stability to you? Is it control? Or you need to let both of you have some kind of balance. Because balance is coming up. You cannot control this relationship. There's too much form of control, Scorpio. You need to give this person balance. Because they're going to just make you go crazy. You're playing with your mind. <laughs> they're playing with your mind. They're very. They're coming from a hard background as well. So... They appreciate the fact that you're strong. They love a strong person because they need that around them. But at the same time, don't be strong with them. Don't be too, too strong. That's what I'm hearing. And then we have walking away but looking behind. You know that this is not what you want to do, so don't do it. Don't do it to... Um, why am I seeing that when you're walking away here and you're feeling like, Oh, I got this, so... You know, like, this is the right thing for you. But now, in number 27, I'm seeing, like, you're walking away, looking behind you, like, you don't want to do this, so don't do it. So there's something else that needs to be done here between you and this person. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, energy. There's some kind of journey that you need to take. Um, this is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing money issues that you need to be careful with. Um, I'm seeing Gemini Virgo energy again in the magician. I feel like you need to look be, look within the the mirror here and see what needs to be changed about you. This is why we have the forgiveness. Forgive yourself, right? Card, because there's a, a lot of forgiveness that needs to be done within you, your energy. No one is perfect, but you need to re like really pay attention to your spending habits and know that the angels are with you so you have gemini energy twice over there's a lot of spirituality that's being done here and being guided within your life and you need to know that this is happening okay a lot of you i'm seeing like you're trying to make changes within your life you're trying to make changes because you feel like it's just not working like coming fast enough for you and you worked so hard to get to this point of capability so when i say capability i'm seeing like you know a boss or someone that has their own business or um someone that you know is finally at a place in their life that they can have some form of comfortability okay you worked really hard to get here and i'm also seeing that energy here as well but i feel like it's like you're you're ready to share your life with someone too you're very comfortable in the garden, but you know there's something more that you need to do. A lot of you are afraid to take this leap of faith. The angels are saying, hey, we're with you. We're with you. It's time for you to do this. You're here to learn, not to be comfortable. Not to be comfortable. Wow, what a powerful message. <laughs> All right, so let me see for Scorpio's energy when it comes to... Angels, please. Let's see a message for Scorpio. Which angels is around Scorpio? Wow, believe. Or believe. I feel like you believe that your ancestors are around you. Your angels are around you. You have this spiritual aspect around you. We have the power card in... <laughs> In the back of the deck. We talk about power in this whole reading, didn't we? <laughs> but Scorpio, you have the belief card. So there's a lot of spirituality that's going on around you, your ancestors. Um, you're even looking back, you really feel protected. You're looking at a picture of someone that might have passed away recently. 
or some kind of memory that came into your head and you feel like you're wondering what they're doing right now and they're with you actually in your heart so let me see tell me more with angels around you music a lot of you might be connecting with music that a word of a song or lyrics may even remind you of this person anything else for scorpio Mm. Ooh, you're at your you're on your path of determination you have the angel of determination here um and you also have angel michael protecting you as well giving you the comfort that you need to know that you're not alone and to go through some kind of healing that you need to go through um i'm feeling like it's like i'm getting this power here as well but it's like something about why you feel alone. Like I'm getting this alone feeling here, but you're not. And you know you're not. You feel this presence around you all the time. <laughs> but you're working on so many things that... It's like bringing this energy within your life that you're working on so many things of success. Again, getting that um, form of capability. You feel like... You want to try something, but you don't You don't know that if it's the right thing for you. But I feel like you're going to know this within your dreams. Your angels are guiding you through this life. Giving you or giving you the okay. Like, you're just going to know when to do certain things. So you're not quite alone like you think you are. You know, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like you feel that presence around you a lot. A lot. Yeah, you're having dreams, visions, you're being looked after. Oh my God, being protected. Talk about protection. A lot of you might be dreaming about water, like going to the beach or being in the pool or water just coming towards you in the dream. It's a form of purity, even dressed in white in your dream. You're dressed in white and it's like, why are you dressed in white? <laughs> It's a form of purity. You're being, you're blessed. You're guided. This is what I have for you guys. I hope that it resonates and give you some kind of comfort. I love you guys and know that I will see you guys in your next one. Bye.